Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to email your list using ConvertKit. So just a regular newsletter or campaign. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com and I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. All right, so once you're logged into ConvertKit, you're going to click on Broadcast and then you're going to click New Broadcast. And then here is where you can decide who is going to receive this email. Since this video is about sending out your general newsletter, then you can probably just leave this as all subscribers. But if you did want to get more specific, you would just hover over here and click on the X and then you would click add filter. And then you'll see all these different options for how specific your targeting can get. So for example, if I click subscribe to, I can select only people that have been subscribed to a certain form, sequence, or tag. So this is a really great feature of ConvertKit and I love how specific they can get, but I'm just going to change this back to all subscribers. All right, so now click next step. And then here is your subject line. So just going to type that in. And here is where you would input your email content. One thing that I like to do in ConvertKit is use this personalize feature. So if you click on personalize and then subscriber's name with fallback, what it's going to do is it's automatically going to say hello and then this subscriber's first name. So it's going to pull that in for you. And if the person didn't input that field, then it's just going to say hello instead. So I always do that. And then I also always increase the font size. Okay. And then this is where you're going to write your email. And then up here, you'll see that you have a few formatting options like your regular bold italic, your bullets, your numbered list, uh, your indents. Another thing that you probably want to do is add in an image though don't do too many. Um, actually, in a lot of my emails, I avoid sending an image, um, and this is going to help ensure that it reaches more inboxes and doesn't go into junk. But let's just say you wanted to do this for this one. I'm going to click Choose File, select my image file. All right, and another thing that you probably want to do is add a link in your post. So let's say I wanted to do that. I would type in what I want my link to say. And then I'm just going to highlight that. And then up at the top, you'll see this little link icon. Click on that, then insert link. And here is where you would put in the URL of whatever it is that you want. So I'm just gonna type in my website, click open in new tab, insert and now we've created a link. So that's as easy as it is to input your content. Then next, you're going to scroll down and click next step, and they'll give you a preview of your email again. Awesome, looks good. And then you can either schedule this out. So if you wanna schedule it, just click there, and then you can choose what date, and then what time you want it to go out. Okay or you can just click send broadcast to send it out immediately. That's it for this video. I hope that you found it really helpful. If you have any other ConvertKit questions, just leave them for me in the comments and I'll either get back to you there or create another video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.